all my life, I've hung out with dudes. I like hanging out with dudes. I laugh my ass off when I hang out with dudes. Same with you girls. You girls pal around, you tickle each other's hair. You have a blast, whatever you do. I don't know. <laughs> then all of a sudden, because I take a vow in front of my friends and family that she kind of pressured me into taking. <laughs> now I gotta live with this person forever. Someone with a different mindset, a different outlook, someone from the opposite team, okay? I'll, do, I'll give you a story that encapsulates the differences between how we see the world. I live, like I said, downtown Los Angeles. We were walking to lunch one day. We ran a corner, and in the middle of the sidewalk, broad daylight, there's a homeless man squatting down, taking a shit. <laughs> he looks up at my wife and he goes, well, hello, beautiful. <laughs> she is horrified. <laughs> and I can't stop laughing. <laughs> I cannot. Stop laughing. <laughs> we go to lunch. I enjoy lunch. She can't eat for some reason. I don't know what the hell her problem is. <laughs> we, we get up to leave. She's like, uh, by the way, we're not walking. I'm like, the fuck we aren't. We're walking back exactly that way. <laughs> exactly that way. We walk back that way. And now this man is being arrested. He's up against the wall, no pants, <laughs> being placed under arrest. And for the story, if you're wondering what happened, the shit's still there, just nobody cleaned it up yet. So he's being placed under arrest, and he looks at my wife, and he, this is what he said, this is what goes down. He's like, well, you don't know who the fuck you motherfuckers are. Well, hello again. <laughs> She started dry heaving. She was dry heaving and tears of joy were streaming down my face. I was like, this dude has no pants. He's getting placed under arrest. He just took a shit and sex is still on his mind. That dude is fucking awesome. I will pay his bail. You don't lock him up. We need him out here.